Hi, this is Alessio. Hope you're well and welcome to another update on the financial markets. This is going to be quite an interesting video, guys, because in just a few minutes, I'm going to play for you a very interesting video clip by trader, uh, hedge fund manager and investor Bill Ackman, who went on CNBC and he said something quite interesting, which I want to share with you. Actually, it's a fascinating uh, interview that he did. Of course, um, the whole world right now is pretty much gripped in panic with um, everything we're hearing recently about many countries being in lockdown. And I want to share with you what Bill Ackman said on CNBC, which is absolutely fascinating. Uh, let me just say the first part of this video, the first section of the video is about his opinion about Hilton and restaurant stocks. But listen to the end of the video. Just, there's something interesting that he says at the end, which is worth listening to. And then we'll come back and comment on that. Now, you know, take a look at Hilton stock. We're a major shareholder of Hilton. Hilton is the canary in the coal mine. This is an incredibly well capitalized, amazing, dominant global company down from like 120 to 50. OK, it's going to zero. OK, along with every other hotel company, because the, every hotel is going to be shut down in the country. Everyone. Hang on. Okay? Just, hang on just one second. Um, you say Hilton is going to zero. I mean, Oh, no, again, I'm a, I'm a major shareholder. What I'm saying is, if we allow this to continue the way we allow it to continue, okay, every hotel company in the world, okay, is done, okay, because no business can survive a period of 18 months without revenue, the, okay, and that's stick with me, and yeah. that's what happens, okay, when if you operate the way we're operating now, okay. Now, let me give you. So that's a very very bearish thought, okay, and I've been super bearish. Uh, but I got bullish, okay? And the reason why I got bullish, and I've been aggressively buying stocks, including Hilton, today, okay? And I've been buying all the way down, uh, Hilton, restaurant brands, Starbucks, you know, walk your way through our... And the only stocks I'm not buying are companies where we're on the board and I'm restricted. Um, but the reason why is the only answer for the world is to shut the world for 30 days. All right, guys, as you heard there, Bill Ackman was saying that he expected a certain stocks like hotels and restaurants to go to zero unless the whole world shuts down. But what is absolutely fascinating is what he said at the end of the video, which is essentially what he was saying was he was bullish. He was bullish for the long term. So he was buying as the markets were dropping. He said this. He said that he essentially was picking up the markets, is averaging down and buying stocks on the way down. In other words, buying um, the stock markets. And I want to show you this important chart, which is courtesy of Jason Geppert of Sentiment Trader. Jason said recently that, in fact, the dumb money confidence, so confidence of the majority of people out there, all right, guys, so non-institutional people out there. So dumb money confidence has absolutely plummeted. Take a look at this. This is the red line you're seeing here. Look at the confidence of the general public. And again, the dumb money, it has crashed beyond what you can possibly imagine. But what is interesting, though, is that while dumb money confidence has crashed, Look at the smart money confidence. So these are folks like Bill Ackman, who was talking in that video. So these are institutional traders. These are commercial hedgers. Notice that as the majority of public have been panicking, and of course they've been selling and getting out of the market, on the other hand, commercial hedgers, or indeed the smart money, or sometimes called the insiders, they've been buying into the stock market. Again, these are folks like Bill Ackman. So again, when you see a divergence like this between smart money and dumb money down here, that often can be a very strong and powerful contrarian signal. Now, let me make it very clear. Despite what Bill Ackman said, and despite this chart, does that necessarily mean that we should do the same thing? Should we catch a falling knife? No, I don't think so. Some people are okay with averaging down or indeed buying into the stock market at certain levels. Like for example, when it hits extreme oversold or when it hits extreme support levels, a very important support level. There's nothing wrong with that. So I think as long as your risk is controlled and as long as uh, you know, you're, you're being careful about money management and risk management, I don't personally see any problem with doing what Bill Ackman is doing, which is essentially saying that he was buying on the way down. Um, but I do think it is important to appreciate that markets never go in one direction. All right, guys? So markets just don't ever go. I mean, this is the mistake a lot of people keep making. They think the markets only go in one direction, in other words, downwards. And it's easy when you see the when you look at the financial media and all the financial media are doing is just, uh, you know, increasing the fear, increasing the panic. So, guys, I personally think that uh, Bill Ackman is correct. I'm actually in agreement with him on this point, because when you look at the chart, uh, you know, being extremely oversold, at support levels. And when you look at the dumb money situation here on this chart being extremely also fearful, as Warren Buffett also says, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. Uh, so bottom line for me, guys, is that while I don't think it's a good idea to catch a falling knife uh, and the markets could go lower, I think it's possible for the markets to go lower. Nonetheless, I think when also things like this happen, they also provide opportunities for the long term. So for me, I'm seeing this more as a long term play, as a long term 
uh, position rather than a short term. So guys, personally for me, I refuse to follow the herd. The herd right now are panicking. For me personally, I'm going to remain calm and I'm going to see what the charts are going to tell us over the next few days and next few weeks. Thanks very much, guys. Again, please remember, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe today. And also please hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified of our future video updates. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.